Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I got the July's Palafel Packs and I know that I had just literally just um, posted the June one because, I, well, one, the editing software was being stupid that I have and didn't want to do anything. So that was an issue. Yeah, so I apologize for not getting that out sooner. Um, I really wanted to get it out, but I started messing around with the software, tried to get it, like, edited, and then, like, halfway through trying to edit it, it freezes, and, yeah, eventually, hopefully, I'll get that fixed, but we'll see. But, um, without further ado, powerful packs for July. They did not send a link this time, so, that's interesting. So, I bet you there's paper in here now. I have not looked at any of this. Looks like we got more inks. Do they have? Yeah. So I found the paper. It's a scratching tool or something. Ah, uh, I think I know what this is. Without even looking at this, it's like they're like little scratching tools. See? I think it's where you make like the stamps. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so it's scratch art. I see, I was wrong. I thought it was the other thing. Oh, well. So the things that we got in here is the app. Ooh, getting started. Okay, so they have everything. They brought the card back. Um, so they have the Appersand scratch board 5x5 five five and 8x10, which is... The 5x5 five five is about $4. 8x10 is about $6. The Apperson Scratch Knives set of two, which would be this, this one. Ouch. Did I cut myself? I don't see no blood. Just poked myself. So, these. Um... Is the five best five for? I don't know. I will just move these for now. Here's some. St Helps if y'all can see. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, do do do. Which the set of two? These. I'm assuming is about ten dollars. So right there is almost twenty bucks. Royal Long Neck Engraving Tool Set. So that's... This is... Mine's poking out the bottom. Okay, so set, this is a set of four. And there's about $7. I didn't even know that you could professionally do scratch art. Like, you do the, like, the little scratch art, like, things as kids. Like, where it has, like, a rainbow in the background. And you scratch off the, like, the little box off. I'm assuming that's what this is. I thought it was like where you take the stuff and make a stamp. Uh, so we got scratch board, clay inks, oh clay, clay broad inks. So that's what these are. These things, and they are almost five dollars each. So right there's like literally twenty dollars because there's four of them. So right here's twenty dollars in just inks. Okay. Uh, scratch art, scratch board, eight point five. That's eleven pack, which is about seven dollars according to that. So this is the scratch board, which has some tips and techniques on it. I don't know how to use this. I don't know how to use any of this. I've never, I never even knew that I could do this professionally. Uh, so this is the scratch board. Okay, so this one's the five by five. Has to be. Has to be the five by five. Do I have a more in here? Yeah, this thing will work. Yeah, yeah, definitely five by five. 
probably says somewhere on the package too, and I'm just blind. I don't know. There's a scratch board, five by five. We got, I mean, that would explain why this is a little bit heavy. This one is the eight and a half and 11 inches. So this is the paper version. So this is like a professional, like version of the kids version. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, and then we got the 8x10 board. Okay, so I'm going to do a little tally real quick and figure out about how much this one is worth. I mean, we pay about $36 a month to get this box and I'll put in the link in the description for the palette for packs box so you guys know where to get this okay so I did my little things where I take all these pretty little numbers that I didn't use to show you guys so it wasn't a card um take all those little numbers and add it up for you so I pay about $36 for this box out of my own money because this video is not sponsored um, I just like art stuff, and it's a good way to get art stuff, um, to get, I mean, come on, you pay $36, and everything that's in this that I calculated from their little thingies here, which I always provide a link in the description with where you can get each of these items, and I try to do like a, like, wherever that is kind of trustworthy that I know of. If it's somewhere that's odd, I don't usually put that link unless I know it's legit. Um, but it's about a $50 box for $36 a month. All right, I paid $36 for this one and it was $50 box. Um, I did read the back of this for the tips because I... I haven't done a scratch art thing since high school. Like, the last one I did is the one that's hanging up on my cork board right now, which I'll have to show you guys. And that was a long time ago, and it's, like, super basic. Like, super, super basic. Like, that's super basic, in my opinion. Um, so I read up on that. And the powerful packs prompts this time is landscape and farm and or farm animal. And we have these things, uh, which is scratch boards. Got two of those. Or we got like this paper version. Which I guess I should open this to show you guys. Maybe not. No, am I going to use this big thing? I don't think I'd use a big thing of paper yet. I don't know what to draw. I might do maybe this one. I mean, that's these are solid. Watch, I'll get going and then I'll have to use this thing that's black repair, which basically puts this black stuff back on the paper. I didn't know that that was possible. Apparently, it is because according to this, you can use it. It says final touch up, apply the black repair ink around the edges of the subject matter to cover any leftover residue and overpainting. You can also use it on areas that you need to change. Once the call, all the colors end, then you just go back and scratch out for highlights. It's basically what it is. And we got Carmen Red, Ultramarine Blue, and you literally just, just yellow. Literally just, the, it's just yellow. Um, 
is the colors they gave us.
Okay guys, so this is what I ended up doing. I did not film all of the scratching because this, I, fi I started filming this on, what, on like a Wednesday? Wednesday? I think it was Wednesday I started filming this whenever I unboxed it. And I started re recording whenever I started scratching off and mapping out where everything needs to be. And then I realized that this takes a really, 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 really long time. So, I mean, it, it would have been wiser for me to do the 5x5 five five instead of the 8x10. So, I should have done the 5x5, five five, but I think this turned out very good. I kind of used a mixture of both of the prompts because the prop number one was a landscape. The second one was farm animal. I did not include very many farm animals in here. I mean, there is one farm animal in here that I did include, and that was just to get the fact that that lit in the little buildings there see you got the um the cabin and right there's a little chicken because behind it and that little brown piece right there that is a chicken coop and then an outhouse and there's a little wagon wheel up against the bell right there's a little garage I think I think it turned out very nice um, it is new to me I did not know that there was professional scratch art so that is kind of exciting it was very new to me and I, I like how this ended up turning out it turned out pretty good for my first professional one compared to what I did in, let's say probably 2015, 2014, I did that one. But that's just like the kids scratch art. That's not this. I didn't know that they, they, they had stuff like this. This is awesome. I really like this. So I will probably end up doing more of this at some point because I really did enjoy that. Um, if you guys are looking into powerful packs, I do recommend it. I mean, again, this is not sponsored at all i use my own hard earned cash to do this um but i enjoy getting it and i know that some of you guys enjoy seeing what's inside these boxes other than that i mean the only other thing that i used in this that was not part of it um was just a paintbrush i didn't know how else to get the ink on there so other than that i think that this was a good box i mean i think it caught a lot of everybody basically off guard because you don't think that this is a, a thing and it is and it's kind of awesome so that is really cool in my opinion um the powerful packs really caught a lot of people off guard because i did get a chance to watch a couple other people's videos um and from what i gathered from them is that not very many people knew exactly how to use these tools and I don't know how to really use these tools I just kind of picked and played at it to make this picture um, because again this is extremely new to me besides the little picture up there that you use a little wooden stick for you know the kids version of this so I mean I could have probably done a way better job at this being I have really no experience using these scratchboard inks which um, I did notice that whenever these go down that you can re-scratch the pigment off to do highlights. So that's really nice especially on the fencing because I got a lot of green on the fencing areas so that was a bonus for me to be able to scratch that back off and re-go in with the brown or scratch it off completely to do the wires. So that worked out wonderful. Um, if there is anybody out there who actually knows how to properly use these, let me know. Um, because again, I am not a professional at this at all. But, you know, we get to try new things. And that is why we get the Caliphal Packs box. Because you never know what you're going to get. And some things you get, you have no idea what to use. Or you wouldn't even think that they even had it. Like, I didn't know that they had professional scratch board stuff i had no idea about that but here it is um all right well thank you guys very much for watching my probably very long video at this point because today is friday uh so that took me wednesday night 
all day Thursday and pretty much all day today to get it done because I do have a life outside of this um, unfortunately that I have to actually tend to some things outside of uh, my art I mean it would be awesome to just be able to do art all the time but at the same time I know that if I do this as my profession I ain't gonna like it no more and I I don't think I'd like that so all right again thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in the next video bye